It's time for that time for some Saw Theory. Hear me out. Hello, sinners. It is I, Father Evil, and I invite you to Destination Station on YouTube. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. All right. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Jamie Kennedy, subscribe to my man, Destination Station, right now if you want the best content. What's up? Welcome to Destination Station. As always, I'm Destin. Thank you for clicking on this video. Subscribe to Destination Station if you want Scream, Halloween, and everything in between. And Saul is right there with them. It's one of the greatest horror franchises of all time. Uh, I grew up watching these movies every Halloween whenever they were marketed for you know the month of October. And I'm glad to see that Tobin Bell is coming back in this Saw X. I do have a trailer reaction that I did live, and we've also been doing a Sawathon over on my buddy's channel. I shot him six times, Marcus's channel. So uh, check him out. Check uh, check out the the Sawathon, uh, and check out some Scream Talk every Friday night, 10 p.m. Central. Uh, all the links are down in the description below. But today I want to theorize about Saw. The trailer to Saw X just dropped, and uh, I've already put out reactions and stuff, you know. Um, uh, but I was looking through it, I was breaking it down, I was taking it frame by frame and going through it and I've watched it probably about six, seven times now. And it, blink and you'll miss it, the original bathroom from Saul and at the and at the ending of Saul 2, that bathroom is back where Adam and Dr. Gordon was at, that bathroom is back. Um, and also, if you look closely, if you if you go back and you watch that trailer, there is a a spot where someone is being hung or is hanging within that bathroom, and then you see somebody right there on the other side of the the leg that's hanging of somebody in a suit and a tie and has a similar build to Hoffman. It looks like it, it that we might be, be getting Hoffman back in Saw X. How is this all going to tie in? We do know that Saw X takes place between the events of Saw 2 and Saw 3. We got Tobin Bell back. They're going to Mexico. So um, if, if this is like set there, then that means that this scene right here has to take place at the beginning of Saw or at the end of Saw. And I would much rather it start at the end of Saw and it kind of tie in some stuff. There are a lot of people that think Adam is still alive. You know, did, did uh, Amanda really kill him? Uh, uh, it didn't really show it yet. It showed him, her strangling him, but then like, you know, it could have been intervened. It, it could get retconned. A lot of stuff like that gets retconned within the Saw franchise. A lot of people could be coming back um, I think it would be really cool to get Lee Winnell back as Adam and and that would be really really cool because there are like theories of like who's been taking all these photos throughout these years and uh, maybe they swapped his dead body but if you look also really closely to the shoes that's being worn by the hung victim I started going through it and I was like these are kind of like teenagery shoes you know like like uh, like some bands or something like that like like who was wearing this type of stuff so I started you know after re-watching all these movies having this saw-a-thon right now uh, which is a lot of fun because I'm like refreshing myself on all this stuff well whatever happened to uh, Detective Matthew's son Daniel whatever happened to him remember he was stuck in the safe he was in a safe place that entire time um, uh, he he just hasn't been sh shown all this time so so at the end of the events of Saul 2 and he's in the safe well like how why would he go back down there maybe he's going back down there to look for his dad he ends up running into Hoffman or maybe Adam maybe Hoffman in intervenes and and maybe Hoffman actually kills uh, 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 Daniel so so like these shoes really do match and I, and I in my thumbnail I'll put some photos up right now but in my thumbnail I also showed it that these shoes look like like Daniel's shoes um, and we we do know, you know, my first instinct was that could this be Adam being hung 
in this bathroom by Hoffman, but Adam didn't have any shoes. Adam was down there barefoot. Uh, I just don't think it was him. Um, but we do know that Daniel uh, was wearing shoes similar to that. Could it be him? Possibly. But I can almost guarantee that we are getting Hoffman back. We are. It already was shown in the trailer that we are getting Amanda back. And I have a theory video coming out about her. Glad to see these faces coming back. I hope that Saw X makes sense. Tobin Bell's great. He's like 80 years old. So this may be the last time that we ever see Tobin Bell. I think it is. I think this is like their their way of pivoting or maybe passing the torch in some way to make the franchise pivot in another direction because this is kind of like, you know, going back and it's like a prequel a little bit, but it's set between the events of Saw 2 and Saw 3. So yeah, there's a lot of unanswered things. And I really think that the 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 franchise started taking a nosedive with three a little bit I, it, I three wasn't very fulfilling and you know four kind of pivoted it in a different way and i didn't really i wasn't really feeling it, it wasn't as cool and fresh and uh uh the 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 motive overall just wasn't hitting for me like it was in the first two uh three did have some cool elements but like four i was kind of like you know starting to fall off a little bit i thought it was too convoluted but if they do this one right and they pivot in the right direction and they bring back Adam, which is a plus, and I do have a video of another image that it came across that Adam might be alive and this might, you know, uh, confirm that. So be looking out for that theory video. Be looking out for the video about Amanda. But I want to know your thoughts. Who do you think who's back? Who, where do you think this twist is going to go? Where do you, do you think this is uh, Tobin Bell's last hoorah as Jigsaw? Uh, do you think we're going to be passing the torch and going into a completely different direction? Uh, do you think Hoffman's back? This really does look like Hoffman, and you can also hear his voice in the trailer at one at one area. Go back and listen to it. Uh, I promise you, I, we're going to get Hoffman back and Amanda's back and I think we're gonna get Adam and I think we might see the death of Daniel so yeah uh, this is Destination Station as always I'm Destin like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna be putting out a lot of saw theories screen theories Halloween theories uh, and we and, and we have scream talk every Friday night 10 p.m. Central and be a part of the Sawathon. We're going through all the movies right now, so yeah, uh, be a part of the conversation and and watch along before Saw X hits theaters uh, September 29th. All right, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Oh!